Column chromatography is a commonly used purification technique in organic synthesis. It can be used to separate mixtures of compounds. Prior to the column chromatography, we synthesized fluorinon by oxidizing fluorine using sodium dichromate as an oxidizing agent. You will use column chromatography to separate the product, fluorinon, from the reactant, fluorine. To begin, use a burette clamp to secure the column to a ring stand. Make sure that the stopcock on the column is in the closed position. Insert a glass funnel into the top of the column. Place an Erlenmeyer flask beneath the column. Prepare the alumina slurry by slowly adding 15 milliliters of hexane to 8 grams of alumina powder while swirling the mixture. Use a glass rod to mix the slurry. Pour the slurry into the funnel at the top of the column. Continue swirling and pouring the slurry. Use a rubber stopper to tap the column to release the air bubbles as the slurry is added. More hexane can be used to add the remaining alumina to the column. Open the stopcock. The excess solvent collects in the Erlenmeyer flask placed beneath the column. When all of the alumina has been transferred to the column, drain the excess hexane until the solvent line reaches the top of the alumina. Close the stopcock on the column. Remove the glass funnel. Make sure to reuse the hexane collected to prevent wasteful use of solvent. Add a layer of sand to the top of the alumina. This keeps the alumina from being disturbed when more solvent is added to the column. It only takes a small amount of sand. Pipette hexane around the top of the column to wash the sand off the glass. Drain any excess solvent from the column so the solvent line reaches the top of the sand and close the stopcock. Dissolve the crude product in a small amount of dichloromethane. Add this to the top of the column by carefully pipetting the solution around the edges of the column, allowing it to run down the sides. Slowly add hexane and continue to drain the solvent of the top of the sand until a yellow band appears at the top of the alumina. Drain any excess solvent from the column so that the solvent line reaches the top of the sand. Close the stopcock. Remove the beaker of hexane. Carefully add approximately 40 milliliters of hexane to the top of the column. Drain and collect four 10 milliliter fractions in separate beakers. Number these fractions to keep track of the order in which they were collected. After the collection of four fractions, you can see that the yellow band has moved about one-third of the way down the column. At this point, increase the polarity of the solvent to elute the yellow band more quickly. Change the solvent to 20% dichloromethane, 80% hexane. Continue to collect 10 milliliter fractions until the yellow band has completely eluted. 